on my travels I've just pulled over because I spotted something and at this time of year end of July we've got a very good chance of finding some cinnabar moth caterpillars which are quite striking little caterpillars if you haven't seen them before I've already had a look in fact I've taken a few shots did find some but let me turn you around and show you why I stopped So, these yellow flowers behind me are called ragwort and it's all that the cinnabar moth caterpillars feed on. So let's go in close and I'll show you what I found. Lovely yellow and black caterpillar. And that's what we're looking for. Alright, I've had a little look about. There's a few caterpillars and I've found one that I want to photograph because I think that will get some, use this harsh sunlight, reflect a bit of light back in. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's just here. Somewhat shaded by these taller flowers. Let's have a go. So what I'll do, I'll get the camera set up, bring that in now, and then I'll get the reflector and I'll show you that. So, camera's here, just off shot. So what I'm gonna do, my caterpillar's gone, oh no, the trials and tribulations. Great, I saw it moving and it's dropped off. Right, plan B, we'll find another one. Okay, this is one of the challenges to photography, especially if you haven't planned anything in advance. Had a caterpillar on here, which dropped off. Harsh sunlight coming behind you, and I knew I had a nice little reflector, about that big, that I could just use. I could set my camera up with a remote, once I'd focused, and I could use that reflector to bounce some light back in, even out the lighting on the subject. And guess what? Is it in my bag? No. It will be tonight, but there you go. So plan B, we're right next to the road as well. So I've had, I don't know how many, here's another car coming. Yeah, don't know how many times I've deleted a bit of footage off there in order to try and shoot this. However, not to be dismayed. There are a couple of caterpillars a bit further along, but they don't look to be doing much. They might actually be just in that initial start to peel pear pears, I can't tell. Okay, I found another one that looks just about right, and it's just here going to photograph that one now it's currently climbing up so it's gonna be on a straight plane with the camera and that's what I've been looking for not one going from front to back or I wouldn't get as much in focus Now there is a bit of movement on the plant because there's a bit of breeze. So what I'm doing, I've got this camera set on manual, with auto ISO, and I keep adjusting the shutter speed. I'm going for around 500 for a second, but it all depends on whether the sun goes out, comes in. The ISO keeps changing because it's on auto, but what I'm using mostly is the histogram. I'm 
it's all over the place because there's a lot of shadows so it's quite stretched out but as long as I don't clip those highlights I want to get it close but not clip the highlights the sun's coming out as you can see let's see if I can get some lower ISO shots Don't know whether the, your camera picked that up, but I got a little breezy gust there, which did two things. It took the subject out of focus and it's dropped it off. That's two caterpillars I've lost today. So what I'm going to do is just have another look and see what angles these caterpillars are out, because I've got quite a few to play with. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's find the one that's gonna be the right one to photograph. This one's moving about, so I think if I follow this one, it will, it will may present some good opportunities. Give this one a try. Now as you can see, this one's quite active. That's good, because it's going to move if it's not in the best of positions. It might move into a better position, but makes it more of a challenge to follow it and keep up, be ready. The focus point, I'm using my D-pad on the back. Rather than trying to keep the subject in the middle, I'm following it with the focus point. I'm using a single ear point. I'll adjust the, the composition if necessary, but a lot of the time I'm just following it and taking shots as and when I think it is a good time. Sometimes you can anticipate when it's going to come up before it goes down. Things like that. Just watch your subject for a while. Sometimes we don't get a chance. We only get one subject. Grab the shot. Grab whatever shot you can, but then work on your composition. Nice one here coming round. One moving there. All right, job done. Proof of the pudding, of course, is in the final images, but I'll share those with you at the end.